Oh, I'm very, very, very impressed. Bro, that looks nice. And that's what I want to come next time. Is that curry in there? Hello? It doesn't mean what you think it means. Yeah. Here we are at Yogi's. And they beat Al Kaf restaurant. Hello, hangouts. We're on Rumford Road, Manor Park, here to try some Somali Barwani food. Are you ready, Iqbal? I'm ready. Here we are at Yogi's. It's at Yogi's, and we've got a special guest. A few special guests. We've got Hassan here. <laughs> I, I, AKA Dimples. Are you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat, yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. What do you want me to say, bro? You brought me to you brought me to another you brought, you know what to you brought me to another Somalian place. We've had so much Somali food recently. This time is different. It's Yemeni and Somali together. Okay. Yemeni Somali food. Yeah, that's a good shout. Actually, um, it's very similar. Looking forward to this, and it's in East London, so it will have some Bengali chefs behind the scenes, and they'll bring it up a level. Yeah, that would be that would be a good, <laughs> be a good shout. More spice. <laughs> more spice. More flavour. Anyway, what I would like to see. Can they beat Damal? Can they beat Al Kaf restaurant in East London? We're looking for the king of the East. And today we've come with the beast. So if you've ever seen the film Over the Top, the character turns his hat to the back before he gets serious. Listen, uh, inshallah, inshallah, if the food's nice, I'm serious. I'm serious any day. Oh, wow. Now, we were invited here, so we're looking forward to it. We've had a bit of soup. Now we're waiting for the waiters to bring out the big platter. They're going to start bringing out little bits and pieces, but we want the big platter. Lemonade. lemonade. All right, so this is lemonade. Um, wow, looks fresh, looks green. Oh, lime. It's lime made. All right, lime, like, is this a special? Yeah, is this your special? Somali yeah, special? special? Okay, so this is a yogi special. Yogi special. So we got like uh, lemonade. Get it in. Get it in it, but Get it in. What about the... It's not like tea. You just don't want to do that. All right. So we're going to pass it. Leaves, Who, who's going to try it? Who's going to try it? He's going to have to be a boo. He's going to have to be a boo. A boo. Iqbal is a lemon drink expert. Ah, oh, that's really refreshing. Yeah, yeah, and sweet. I like this. It's really good. All right, so we're going to do a quick little walk around. Now, what I like is the TV. The TV on, on and the flower wall. Look at that. You know, the lighting. We've got the nice lighting, nice and bright, everything. What I like is uh, the chairs are very comfortable. Yeah, the chairs are really, not, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm not, it's something I wouldn't expect. You know, when you come here, you don't expect that. Um, so walking around, you come through and you've got like the family, the family and sisters only downstairs. So um, we had to uh, keep Iqbal clear from this area. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's not allowed over there. Yeah, and uh, they've got a few booths here. So like they've got booths, they've got like, uh, nice little decor and that's what I want to come next time so every Saturday every Saturday every weekend they make this goromundo it's like pasta and lamb neck is supposed to be like a, a specialty dish so if you're around on the weekend try it out fortunately we're not on the weekend so we're gonna to get to try it but yeah and I have to say that is very I've been in the kitchen very clean very impressed just impressed in general so yeah i would definitely frequent this restaurant again
Pass, pass. Pass, pass, yes. Pass, 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 pass. 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 Pass, no, no, at the moment I wouldn't say it's the worst one. I've got anyway. another idea. Lace it with the bus bus. Food. Food. Pancakes. Well, the new franchise. I'll show you Whoa. in a second. But the one is... Not too overbearing. It's just right. It's what? really good. The really good bus bus. The guy opening the first shop. Bananas, Marinda and Shani. It can only mean one thing. That we've finished up at Yogi's restaurant. Now let's talk about the food. We had the Yogi's platter, which contained rice, lamb shank, chicken, sugar, everything you'd expect from a Somali restaurant with some fragrant, I call it Asian style rice, but it was, you know, Beriz Asian style. We tried the kawa, uh, which is ginger and coffee. Uh, it was very strong, it hits you. The ginger it like hits the back of your throat and we had that uh, Somali halwa which was uh, how do you describe it? it's like a jelly jelly texture very sweet yeah I would I would eat that all right so I'm here with a very special brother uh, I'm gonna allow him to introduce himself so Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my, my name is Atasi from Somalia, Barawa. I'm a chef here at Yogi's, but mostly my mum is here. I'm learning from her, but recently she's been on holiday. I've been taking over here, looking after everybody, inshallah. That's the aim for me to have, like, to manage this whole restaurant, like, to get every different countries, everyone trying our Somalian food, basically. That's the aim, inshallah. What, what's, what's special about the food that you're cooking here at Yogi's? Special, the food, wallahi. It's just, it's outrageous, man. You have to come try it for you to to understand what I'm saying, but it's just different, man. I know, I noticed that, like, you, you've you mixed up the food. It's not, it's not like, I've been to a lot of Somali restaurants now. I'm kind of a bit of an expert now. Oh. Uh, so, but it's, it's, di it's different, you've got little different fusion things in there, so can you explain that? We try to add like a little Arab mix into it basically, yeah. too many to add in it, too many to mention right now, but like, what we do is just a bit different, just different spices a bit. We add the Somali spice and a bit of Yemeni and Arabic spice as well into that as well, alhamdulillah. So, that platter, it was just amazing, but when you see it, it's like majestic. Right, so everything's well presented. So tell us about the preparation that goes into that platter. The platter, alhamdulillah, the rice obviously gets cooked um, twice a day, first at lunchtime, and half in the afternoon. We get the rice ready. The lamb, alhamdulillah, it takes about three hours to cook. So we had to prepare that twice a day. Like Friday today, we made like, like we had to cook like three times lamb. So you guys I kind of had some fresh lamb as well at the same time. And the sukhar, we make that fresh every day. We cut up the sukhar in the morning. We cook it, everything, the chicken, the chicken sukhar, we cut up every day fresh. The chicken steak, we cut it. The beef steak, we got a machine in the back. We just get a beef, beef steak. We cut it every morning. Really thin, way far, alhamdulillah. It's just different, man. And from there, we just put everything together, alhamdulillah. Uh, really good, really good. I'm, uh, I, I'm, I, I've been to a lot of Somali places. It's definitely different. It's a different vibe in here, and uh, I'm definitely coming back. Hello, hangouts. Review time. We finished up at Yogi's, and I have to say, I am stuffed. The question that you've been waiting for: How was the food? So Iqbal, how was the food? Well, I must say, I was thoroughly impressed. I thought. They wouldn't be able to contest with our cave. But you know what? Definitely very good. Especially that steak in the rice. Crispy, juicy. Yeah, definitely. Has? What was your favourite? Do you know what? It's a weird one, but the rice. The rice had some nice flavour to it. It wasn't plain. You could have just eaten the rice by itself. But yeah, it, it was really nice to have some flavour in the rice. And it was really soft. Cooked really well. And Abu? Uh, as a Bengali, I vouch for the <laughs> rice. They were missing the fish, but uh, the lamb was still pretty good. The lamb was, was there a fish platter? Why didn't you get it? But for those Bengalis, fish is available. Okay, so there, yes. there is so fish. The lamb was good. <laughs> that was good. So we, we had the yogi's platter. On that platter, you had rice. You had a lamb shank, 
you had chicken, you had sugar, and you had the usuals bas bas, they call it bas bas, uh, achari, and the, the spaghetti in another platter. And we had some juk. I will ju I will juke you up. I will juke you up. Juk means like give me some more rice. So give me a juk. It doesn't mean what you think it means. Yeah. Give me a juk <laughs> means give me some rice. Okay. So we're gonna give this place a four That's star. A three star. What? Oh, sorry, four star. Four. Solid four. Solid we're gonna four. we're gonna give this place a four star. Four, is good. four, four star for no, taste. I've got, I'll definitely come back here. It's good. It's good yeah. food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Good. And but, but you have to stop giving places three stars just because you didn't have fish. You have to stop that. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> uh, Hass. Um, how was the service today? Service was on point. We didn't have to wait for anything. They came over repeatedly to see if we were okay. They explained the dishes. They explained why they cook the dishes the way they cook them. So, you yeah, know, it was a great experience. I can't fault it. Well, I, I often think, you know, I have a camera and a light and it seems to change the experience. You <laughs> yeah. go from but like... You know what, saying that, the guy was say, who was telling us the story that whenever customers come, he tries to sit with them, explain to them what the cuisine is, tries to explain the dishes to them. So it's not just, it's not just a VIP treatment that you were getting because you're off a camera, but yeah. they do yeah. try and like educate. It did, it, it did seem quite genuine. Um, they seem quite passionate about what they're doing oh, and, yeah, that and he definitely to wanted to get that across to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that chef, he was proper on it. You can see he loves what he does. Yeah, Atassi, big shout out to Atassi, big shout out to the team that invited us here today. Uh, alhamdulillah, we had, a, we had a wonderful time. So for, for price, it's about £20 per person. Yogi's, Romford Road, parking is a nightmare, but you can find parking in the side roads. So yeah, we're out and glad to see this man. Glad to see this man no, I'm and glad to see this man. <laughs> right, and there's a man behind the camera. Let's flash up a picture of Z in all his glory. Big, <laughs> big shout out to Z. No, not all his glory, bruv. No, you know alive. what I mean, you know what I mean, yeah. bruv. Hey, Shaz, we love you. We love you, Shaz. <laughs> Shaz, support Shaz. Hashtag Shaz. save Shaz. <laughs> Hashtag team Shaz. That's him right there, hold on. Is it recording? Brother, you should not be allowed to have hold the camera. Look, make him look. Look, you zoomed into his face. No, no, he done that. He done that. Yeah, <laughs> in it proper like. Oh. Have you seen this man?